Hello all, this is Mindy channeling the Momniverse for you today. Uh, with all the recent fires and news going around about the Amazon fires and the Arctic and all of the things that Mother Nature and people are doing on the planet right now that's causing great destruction. People are in chaos and turmoil, not knowing what to uh, think or feel or how to take the best action. So I'm going to just pull some cards on what the earth is trying to tell us, uh, humanity, and what we should be focusing on in our internal world so we can change our external world. And let's see what we've got here. I'm just going to do three cards, like a past, present, and future. What's affecting um, what's happening now and what we can do. What's happening now. And what we can do. Okay. So, what's happening now, or this is, um, excuse me, why this is occurring is from the past. The Three of Cups upside down is a showing of our emotions being in misery, basically. This is normally the cups of celebration where people get together and they have a beautiful time and they drink and they celebrate and they're merry and they create new good times and positive vibes and high uh, high vibes of gratitude and connectivity um, when we have this also cups are emotions so when we've got this upside down it's saying to us that our emotions have been put on the back burner of happiness that happiness we think is like a destination that we find when really it's every moment of every day we can find a happy, happy place within where we are. And it's all subjective to your own perspective. Now, um, this is what has led us and the destruction is not honoring our, our celebrations, not celebrating enough, not having enough fun, quite honestly, not having enough fun. <laughs> When I was little, my parents asked me specifically, what do you want to do when you grow up? And my answer was always, I just want to have fun. And they hated that because it didn't seem practical or logical. But yet every single day, no matter what I'm doing, I have fun. So I'm living my exact perfect life. <laughs> now, I mentioned that just to say, like, we can have fun no matter what. We can have fun no matter the chaos. And our earth and our vibes and our community and our collective consciousness rely upon the vibes that send out to create our reality. So the more we're able to remain in fun, the more we're able to spread joy no matter what's happening, the more we are able to help shift our uh, entire world and the collective consciousness. So that's in the past what's been affecting us, and there's a lot of snakes in that card, meaning it's got a lot of, um, it's all about our evolution and how the world is evolving and how we are evolving, and the snake is also the kundalini energy and the divine feminine. So we are taking the joy out of being females, the divine feminine the receiving. We're not receiving this joy. We're not able to receive because something's wrong. So we've blocked our receptors. So remember that if you're able to open those up, no matter what, if there's going to be pain or there's going to be something, just keep it open. Keep that heart open to receive that joy. It changes everything for our collective. Now where we're at now. So where it's led us to, this is the Princess of Cups. So again, we're speaking about those emotions and everything's going to apply already that I talked to you about. Princess is our youth mentality. So like how we felt when we were young adults um, and those emotions coming out to surface and process now and directly related to our femininity, our feminine energy, whether we're males or females, we all have that feminine energy. And the feminine in essence is the receptor. It's how we receive. It's our left side of our body. So this is about owning all of that and receiving those emotions and playing with them and creating more of a enlightened state by those emotions from our past resurfacing and saying, I'm not good enough. I shouldn't be happy because things are going wrong or I don't deserve to receive love. 
I was, you know, this and that when I was young and so and so did this thing to me and I'm a victim and I'm traumatized. So it's time to really go through those processes and look at what it's causing in your world now because I'm sure that it's bringing up some things that's shifting your whole entire reality and you're not having a good time receiving love. You've blocked love. That's one of the main problems on the planet. We've blocked love. Um, blocked our hearts. We only use here. So the Princess of Cups is really about tuning into that divine feminine inside of you and feeling everything fully and true, knowing it's all going to move just like the ocean, the emotion in the ocean. It always waves through. Nothing stays. Nothing's permanent. So allowing it to ride the wave and kind of watching our emotions from a distance sometimes, knowing that we are not our emotions. We're just a human body experiencing them and then we can process them and move forward. Um, so that's where we're at our, in our present state. Now, how we switch things around in our future, we have the chariot upside down. So again, we're still struggling with all those emotional things and it might not be happening very quickly. The chariot is a card of fast movement of carrying us to our next de destination. And when it's upside down, it says when we don't know where we want to go, Everyone wants a different thing. Don't eat meat. Eat only plants. Stop using oil. Use only solar. Don't drive. Don't fly. Don't put emissions into da 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 We're all going a different direction. And when we can collectively come to a more uh, collective decision, a greater than, is when we will then turn the chariot around and take this planet earth into a new state of being in our humanness um but until then it's like we have to collectively still sift through all these things to find where we want to even go or if there's even anywhere to go because a lot of the times it's about being right where you are and not where you're gonna go it's more about what you're learning in the moment than where you're gonna go and this can be for relationships this can be for work this can be for family life this can be for whatever it is so using this knowledge to know that if we are able to focus individually on a destination through processing these emotions and knowing what we want to receive from the universe, then we can elevate, then we can evolve. Um, how this relates to the fires and all those different things is like Mother Earth is a reflection of us. Our world is a reflection of us. And if it's on fire and burning, it's like all of those emotions and those pains and those diseases and things and the ways that don't work for us are coming out and being like, this doesn't work. Are you going to wake up? Are you going to do something about it? Or are you just going to let it keep destroying yourself? And then when we let it keep destroying ourselves, the Earth then reflects us in it. It keeps destroying itself. But yet, the way that we destroy, and when we destroy and destruct the old, there's always the phoenix that rises from the ashes, and something new is always created. So it's not that it's bad, it's not that it's wrong, it's just recognizing the process. So you understand that it's just the process, and this is how we come up into a new state. So we're elevating through the earth, destroying itself, then it's clear space, then we can find a new place. Look at Hawaii. It was all this giant volcano and lava and everything, and now it's one of the most fertile places in the world. So remembering that, remembering that the fire is what brings us back to fertility, brings us back to starting over. So do not fret. Send good emotions, good vibes, celebrate the beautiful life that you have and share that with others. And that, my friends, is the message for humanity channeled from the Momniverse. Mwah. Much love.